bright lights in the shape of numbers, telling us to get up, telling us to do anything. You see, the thing about time is, Time. When you have it, you don't need it. When you don't have it, you need it. Bad. Call me crazy, but having my life revolve around time and punching clocks just wasn't something I was buying into. You could lose a job over being late, ruin someone's life. I always had a problem being late. I was always trying to be prompt. But spending your life trying to beat a clock is no way to live. I started trying to manage my time better. But really it started to feel like time was managing me. Time makes us do everything. Time to wake up. Time to check email. Time to eat. Time to walk the dog. Time to go to work. Time to do that paper. Time to go to school. Time to brush teeth. Time to go to bed. Time to wake up. And it goes on. Every problem every person's ever had can be traced back to time. People don't hate their jobs because they hate their jobs. People hate their jobs because it takes time away from what they'd rather be doing. People work for their bosses, but their bosses work for time. A world without time is a world without anguish or distress. Whoever said time flies when you're having fun is an idiot. Why should time change depending on what mood you're in? Was time an invention? Could time be manufactured? Did people invent time? At first I thought if I could have more time, things would be different, things would be better. But then I realized it wasn't more time I wanted, I wanted to be out of time. I really wanted, needed, to be out of time. I couldn't do it. I couldn't accept being another slave to time, but my friend Jason, he was different. Jason was a thinker. Jason knew what to do. Jason had a plan. Yeah, 
yeah, so I really know what you mean. It's like, you know, time is no, time is no wait, you know. It's like five minutes, an hour, you know, it's all the same to me. You work so hard to be on time, when really all I want to do is be out of it, out of time. You know, is it a coincidence that when you're in jail, you know, and you're serving a sentence, you call it doing time. I mean, it's like people, they listen to uh, hours and hours of, you know, music with their headphones and then just go home to watch, you know, another six hours of TV every day. You know, why do they do that? They do that because they can't stand and feel the passion of time. They do that because they can't stand feeling their lives taken away. Is, you know, is, is it no coincidence that our world's greatest punishment in our system is solitary confinement? Having to be alone with yourself, feeling time go by, with no way to escape it. Not by talking to people, not by listening to your iPod, not by going on the computer. Just feeling your life taking away. You know, time creates urgency. Urgency to and accomplish your goals before time runs out. You know, stress, being late, all products of time. When I see people flooding themselves into worthless hobbies and automated devices, you know, for what? You know, I feel bad because I know that they're not doing it because they want to. They're doing it because they have to. They have to pass time. We are amidst a struggle, a struggle between our perceptions. You know, we, we view time visually, we look at clocks, and clocks tell us what time is. You know, and we follow that because we're forced to. You know, this perception differs with our inner perception. You know, for all we know, you know, our body doesn't even view time. We don't know because since birth, clocks have been making us tick. You know, time flies when you're having fun. Yeah, and that makes sense because time flies when you're having fun. And when people are the most happy, they're not thinking about time, they're free. So how do we get rid of time though? After all, I wanted to see time fly. Would I be out of time? But we were wrong. We could kill all the clocks we wanted. But that wasn't going to change anything. We forgot about the biggest clock of all. But it didn't really matter to us. After all, we were just killing time.
but as I grew older, I learned how right your grandfather was. He always felt that uh, promptness and consideration for the time of others was a mark of character and integrity. Uh, this fine watch, my 21st birthday present, has always reminded me of that, and it is one of my most precious possessions, as I hope yours will be to you. Maybe I can get places now on time. <laughs> that'll be something. Yes, that'll be something all right. <laughs>